everyone and welcome to my last doll repaint video of 2023 I don't know how but we made it till the end of this year it's very difficult to believe and today guys we are going to make the Icelandic witch Grilla. I was in Iceland this year earlier in June and I saw this beautiful witch this statue on the streets of Akureyri the city of Akureyri in Iceland and of course I instantly decided to make uh, this character one of my Halloween specials but then I kind of changed my mind because you know Grilla she's not really a Halloween character she's uh, rather winter season holiday season Christmas you character so I've decided to make her my Christmas special but then Mattel released <laughs> the new Mariah Carey doll and of course Mariah Carey the Queen of Christmas uh, has become my Christmas special I released this video a week ago so please check it out here if you missed it so like this Grilla has become my last project of the year and actually I'm super excited about it really it's the most anticipated and the most postponed project of the year for me because I've planned lots of different body modifications making a scary face things like this so it's gonna be a very 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 exciting project uh, we will talk about this character a little bit later when I will be working on her face and right now yes guys let's start the transformation of course like always I have to remind you to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos I upload new doll repaint videos every week Friday or every Saturday second week Friday depends on the site of the project yeah likes uh, subscribes all these things and this being said let's start the transformation I will use Abby doll for this makeover because I think she's kind of perfect for all my slightly spooky characters and I begin the transformation like always with removing all the doll's original features like her outfit hair all these things uh, then I will warm her head up with a hair dryer to make it easier to disconnect and after removing the rest of her hair from the inside of her head I will remove her face with pure acetone.
Okay, the canvas is clean and now I can start all the facial modifications because I want this doll to look like a super scary old witch. This is how she looks in books and on the streets of Icelandic cities. And now is probably a good moment to talk about Grilla to explain who exactly we are making today. And Grilla is an Icelandic witch and according to the folklore, Grilla's favorite Christmas dish is naughty children softly boiled in a cauldron. According to legends, Grilla only comes down from the mountain during Christmas to search for misbehaved children. When she finds them, she puts them in a large sack she carries on her back and she carries them to the cave where she cooks them. So in order to avoid being eaten by Grilla, children are advised to be well behaved and follow the rules set by their parents. They should be good, not causing any troubles, and like this, children can avoid attracting the attention of Grilla and stay out of trouble. So yes, this is Nordic folklore, a little bit grim, but this is exactly why we like it. And Grilla is often depicted as a scary looking old kind of troll woman, sometimes with long claws, sometimes with hooves, and she also has a husband. 13 sons, also known as the Yule Lads, and the vicious Yule Cat with glowing eyes. So it sounds like a very fun project, very fun challenge. Let's make her. And I will use this Tibra Thermoplastic to modify her face. You can see it has kind of smoother structure than Warbler. And it also gets much softer when you warm it up. And it's also super sticky. It sticks to all surfaces. So it's really perfect for sculpting, for modifying doll faces. And I'm going to give her kind of similar head and face shape like those grillas from the streets. She needs a bigger nose, she needs a bigger chin and also bigger brow bone. It will all make her look more angry, scary and kind of misformed.
yes, it looks super fun already, really like it. I still want to change the placement of the neck hole, I want it to be more on the back of the head, it will make her look kind of more crooked and scary. Yes, I'm very happy with it so far and now I will cover the face with a layer of tissue paper to make it look kind of all wrinkly, ugly, you know, like a really old face. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> the face looks amazingly terrible. So now let's modify her body as well. And first of all, I want to add a hump to her back. Sometimes Gorilla has regular human legs, but sometimes they draw her with hooves. So I've decided to go for the hooves option because it's more fun and I will remove her original feet and then I will sculpt the new ones. Yes, perfect. Now let's cover it all with tissue paper as well.
So, and after I let it dry for a couple of days, I think I'm ready to start painting all this beauty and I will cover it with a couple of layers of some light to medium nude acrylic paint. No, wait, <laughs> wait guys, it's too early. I forgot to add some moles to her face to make it look even worse, even scarier. Yes, and now I can continue painting it over. Now I can spray all this beauty with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I will keep working on it using soft pastels and watercolor pencils to show the structure better, to make it all even worse looking or better looking, so just making it all more detailed. After finishing the face, I do the same to her body. And I also paint her hooves and nails. Great, the face and the body look terrifyingly perfect, so I can move on to her hair and I will use this scary looking yarn that gives both the most ugly and also the most beautiful hair, depending on how you prepare it before attaching. You can see the difference, for example, in my Zombie Cinderella and Britney Spears videos from the recent ones. So today I'm going to make very ugly zombie hair and for this I will make this yarn loose and then I will glue it to the doll's head.
think it looks amazing, doesn't it? I don't know, so perfect. So now I still want to add some scary eyebrows and fiber for these eyebrows I will take from a piece of fur. I think it will work great. Also glue some of this fur to her legs above the hoofs, it will kind of complete the look. Then add reflections to her eyes as well as some gloss and after this I think it's time for her outfit. Grilla normally wears kind of lots of warm looking clothes, some sort of wool and fur. So let's try to make something similar. I've prepared here some fabric and I want to start with making a top for her. It's a little bit challenging because of this hump that I added to her back, so I will have to adjust the pattern and to make this back pattern bigger than the front one. And then I'm connecting all the parts together. And you know, I think it looks really good. I was really worried about this unusual body proportions, but everything worked out really well. So now let's make a skirt for her out of this fabric. I think it will fit the style. I don't want to make it too long because I want to keep the hooves visible and I also want to trim the bottom of it. Then I'm connecting the short sides of the fabric and I gather the waistline with an elastic thread. how the finished skirt looks very nice I want to decorate it also with a piece of fur it will make it all more complete and another piece of fur I add to her shoulders Yes, now I think her outfit looks absolutely beautiful and it's completely finished, very happy about it. I've also made the bag for her where she can carry the mischievous kids, but guys, I will not make the kids because YouTube will block me for the new year, so let's try to avoid it. But I will make some accessories. First of all, I want to make a cauldron and I will use this measuring cup for it. I think the shape is ideal, now I just need to sand it to remove the stripes and the numbers and then I will paint it with acrylics. Perfect, the cauldron looks perfect, very happy about it and it also fits into the back, 
some plus points so she doesn't run around with an empty sack. Absolutely beautiful. And now let's make also a walking stick for her. You know, she's an old lady, she needs some support crossing difficult Icelandic terrain. And I will make it out of Warbler thermoplastic. This is how it ended up. I think it completes the look perfectly. So now we can finally take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished Grilla and I think she's for sure in the top three scariest dolls I've ever made in my life and on this YouTube channel. Probably just Coraline's other mother, the Beldam could compete with her, but I don't know, they're kind of equal to me. I'm absolutely proud of her face, it was a huge transformation and I think, I don't know, I just couldn't make it better, it just couldn't turn out better. Her face looks terrifying and perfect at the same time. The hair, the moles, the eyebrows, like everything. I'm a, I'm a very happy artist today. And then her body also looks very amazing and all the accessories are completing the look so I'm really very happy about this project. Probably, you know, this is my favorite project of this year. I waited for so long to start working on her and finally making her was pure fun, really. I hope you also had fun watching it. Please, guys, let me know what you think about my scary Christmas special that has turned into a New Year special. And I will be especially happy to hear my folk from Iceland in the comments. Are you happy with the end result? You know, you're the experts in all these things. And I would also love to hear your personal experience of growing up as such a scary Yule slash Christmas character. Were you scared of her as kids? Or have you taken her more as a funny character? I'm very curious to know. And also let me know in general what you think about this project. I will be waiting for you in the comments. Tonight I will finally have some time off because I was working non-stop on my last two dolls, Mariah Carey and this one, for the last two weeks and I had no time even to read the comments, to be honest, but I will do tonight, I promise, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram as well to get live updates. I'm very active there in stories lately, so subscribe and if you want to buy this doll please check out my ebay page she will be there for sale for three days the link is in the description under this video so guys that was it that was my last project of the year and i really hope you've enjoyed it today and if so please don't forget to support my art here on youtube with your likes of course subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and i will see you very soon in the next year and in the next doll repaint video love you guys bye